My husband just left me because for the first time a woman hit on him. I'm 34F and my husband is 38M. We've been married for almost two years, have dated two years before that, so overall a bit more than four years. He's always been very insecure about himself, even though he has a great personality or so I thought is generous, caring, can express his emotions and all this stuff. When I got to know him better, I couldn't believe he wasn't taken. In fact, he had only been in two relationships in his life, both five plus years long though. He told me that's because he's shy and ugly and women don't really want anything from him, like, ever, especially not good-looking ones. I am fairly conventionally attractive, and he has kept telling me for the past years how lucky he feels to finally have found his dream woman, and then her being as attractive as me. I was wary at the beginning, though, so I let him court me quite a bit before going out with him for the first time etc. I really was fearing for some dark secret of his that I just hadn't uncovered yet, plus I don't want to look easy. But turns out no, he's a really sweet guy, and just very shy. I also don't think he's ugly. He's not in any way super handsome or so, and frankly originally I thought he was not my type, but his charm melted all of that away quickly. Once we started thoroughly dating, things went fast, because it all was so wonderful. Well, apparently a while ago he was on his own in the outside area of a restaurant having lunch when this woman went by, and apparently struck up a conversation with him. He's shown me a picture of her since I asked him, and she is drop-dead gorgeous, maybe I am exaggerating because I am so mad, but she definitely looks better than me, I have to admit. He didn't tell me much about what they talked, just that she was very friendly and they exchanged numbers and started texting more and more often. He says she at some point openly started pursuing him, even though she knew he was married, saying she just really fell for him and can't let this opportunity pass. He said that he was hesitant once he realized that she was hitting on him, and he was also excited because this literally has never happened in his life. In the past, he repeatedly said that women, at least attractive ones like me, have it easy, because we can lean back, and let the guys approach us, whereas for him, it was always hard work to even get a single date. I always replied that it's not really like that, and that being attractive has its own problems, but he then always reminded me of the fact that he had to work really hard to get me to date him, too. He swears he has only met her one more time, for lunch, after the first encounter, and that he thinks it is not yet an affair. However, he thinks he wants to go forward with her, because, as he put it, this is the first woman who is genuinely interested in me, I didn't have to text her for three months to get a date or anything, I can't let this pass, or something along those lines, my memory is a bit hazy, the three months refers to the time it took him to get a date with me BKW. And that is why he says he is breaking up with me. He says it's the right thing to do, because he wants to continue contact with her, but also feels doing that would be emotional cheating and he doesn't want to cheat on my so he ends it before actually starting something with her. I feel devastated. I know there's nothing I can do. I want to be mad at him, but I am also mad at myself. I really liked him when we first met why did I give him a hard time? If I had said what I wanted back then, if I had pursued him instead of playing hard to get, he probably wouldn't be interested in that woman. But I always felt if a woman does that, she shows she's easy and I didn't just want to get laid. So I thought I must act that way. And now it is biting me in the butt, and I of course am very mad at him, but he didn't even cheat on me. He's behaving exactly the way I always say people should act when they fall in love with someone else. Ugh. I kinda wished he had actually cheated on me with her. That would actually make it easier. Thanks for letting me rant. I don't need advice, I know I'm fucked. Edit. Holy fuck this blew up so much. First, thank you all so much for your comments. This is much appreciated. And also some of you made me really think. I still feel this was unwarranted, and if he was so unhappy, he should have told me. But I guess I wasn't as good of a wife as I thought. I didn't really show him that I love him, and why, and didn't put in much effort, and someone said he was starving for attention, and I guess that's my fault in a way. Ugh. Still, I think just dropping me like this isn't right, B. I managed to get the courage to talk to my BFF, and we'll meet later so I can tell her everything, and she spontaneously will take me out for a spa weekend. I hope I can get my head clear there.
I was so scared, but she was not at all condescending, she's the best. I feel like I couldn't have mustered up the courage for that were it not for all your support, so thank you all so much, even the critical ones. Comments. Lady Nevia. Do not worry. If that woman is drop-dead gorgeous, and pursued him, while she knew he was married then she is bonkers, and trash, and this will bite both of them in their asses soon enough. This is the case when trash took itself out. You husband should have worked on his self-esteem issues, and not jump for the first woman who gave him attention like this. You are at no fault in this situation. Deleted. Exactly, if that woman actively pursued him knowing full well that he was married then I think this tells a lot about her character. Letting go of a four-year relationship with a person you love just because of a random hot person usually doesn't go well. Squirrel's Angel. Sounds like a classic midlife crisis, and he is willing to throw everything away for an ego stroke. Sorry. OOP replies. Oh, never even thought of that. Mhen 2501. That's just bananas, I thought I was insecure, but he takes the cake. Crazy town. Feels like you dodged a bullet imagine him pulling this s after tenors of marriage and three kids in. I'm so sorry, but I don't think there is anything you could have done different to have a different outcome. He will always be insecure, and this experience will give him validation for a bit, and then he will continue looking for it outside of himself. JFMTL87. I get where is he coming from, but to throw away his marriage over this. This doesn't make sense. Part of me thinks that there must be something deeper or missing informations. People usually don't throw away an happy multi-years long-term relationship just because someone hit on them. Either way something happened between them and they had serious problems. He was never as happy as he claimed to be. He had long pre-existing doubts or something. I just can't fathom that you wake up one morning fully happy with your spouse only to throw everything away cause someone smiled at you and asked your number at the restaurant. Notable comments by OOP. Yes, that. It hurts so much. He says it's because this is the first time he doesn't feel like a beggar with a woman. But I mean, that's how the dating game is, right? We can't make it too easy for men, or they think we are easy. He first started mentioning the three months thing after I told him that as soon as he started talking to me back then I fell for him, but intentionally made him wait. Truth be told, I was head over heels for him five minutes after first starting to talk to him. So he always pulled my leg saying, you made me wait three months even though you knew after five minutes. I sort of get what he's complaining about there, but then again I think that's what I have to do as a woman to ensure a guy has honest intentions. On the not liking him, that is only re, his physical appearance. He's a bit on the chubby side and, well, early hair loss and such. Only judging looks I honestly would never have talked to him. We got introduced by a common friend so we got talking and that captivated me. But I honestly told him that physically he's technically not my type. I wish I could see it like that. But you don't know him. I mean. Yeah, in college I would have called him a loser, but back then I was stupid I guess. Thanks and yes. Frankly, I don't know why she approached him. I mean for me it doesn't matter but he's not exactly Chris Hemsworth. I know what you mean. But I don't think it's fair. I mean, men and women are different. I know he told me that he always felt ugly and stuff, but I mean I married him. And well, I mean, women get compliments. I had no idea that men are looking for compliments too. I mean it's true, I never had to work to get to meet men. Then again I had to sift through so many losers. I wish I could say you are right on him, settling for me, but he's a very honest guy, and I truly felt like he always was madly in love with me, I don't think he really cheated on me though. As I said that would make it so much easier to hate him. Well. Kinda. But I mean, if I had just told him right away I liked him, then I would have looked easy. But after all, he's the man, I am the woman. I mean, you don't buy your husband flowers or jewelry or a massage, do you? It's always been like that for me. Update. A couple days ago, I posted here about my husband suddenly leaving me because of, well, having experience for the first time, that a woman actually showed active interest in him. Since links are not allowed in this subreddit, please check my profile for my post history. Yesterday, my husband and I met for the first time since he up and left last Friday. And frankly, after the meetup, I was very shaken, so it took me until today to be able to write about this. Since so many people have reached out to me with helpful comments and all, I think you deserve an update, but I really wasn't up to it yesterday. 
Also, this is really long, so sorry in advance, there's just so much to cope with. So here we go, the situation felt very awkward, and I got the impression the whole time that he genuinely feels sorry for how things were, and that what he is doing hurts me. I know many of you said he's a douche, a cheater, and whatnot, and I really really understand you and are mad at him myself, but on the other hand, you all do not know him like I do. He's a very honest person, he despises lying, and is really bad at this, he carries his heart on his tongue, and I know him well enough to sense his feelings. Did that help me? Not much. Now, even if I wished, I couldn't paraphrase our talk, and I am sure I will miss certain things, and overall, it was a mixture of him telling and me asking questions, and all is a big flurry in my head. So I'll just summarize I guess. First he told me that he really really loved me, and he still does, but he feels that his feelings for the new woman are stronger. He told me her name, let's call her Jasmine, not her real name. He admits Jasmine is gorgeous, but claims that that on its own was in no ways relevant for his decision. Yeah right? He told me that she originally approached him because of a book he was reading during lunch. Supposedly the book's author is her uncle, and she was able to tell my husband some funny stories about the time her uncle drafted that book. He says he and Jasmine have very similar interests, Jasmine also reads sci-fi as he does, because of said uncle who is a sci-fi author, and both like gaming and stuff. He says after they exchanged numbers, they initially only wrote about stuff like that, and later on they talked about other hobbies and interests, and found more and more and more common ground as he put it. He also admitted that like two weeks or so ago he started to wonder if he should actively tell me about her, seeing how she turned from an acquaintance to what he deems a friend. I interjected that they don't know each other long enough to consider her friend, but he says he feels Jasmine is really genuine with him. This is a man who cannot pick up social clues unless they are spelled out for him, but whatever. He also feels a lot more in tune with Jasmine than he does with me. Admittedly, we seem to have less common interests, but I never felt like I have to be exactly like my partner. Opposites can complement each other well, and I always felt we do. Well, looks like he feels much happier with someone catering to his interests a lot more. He also became a bit self-critical then. He says after he left for his friend's place, he sat down and reread his conversation history with Jasmine, and he realized that she had indeed been flirting with him before she told him she wanted more. It didn't start out flirtatious, but he admits he totally missed that. He opened up the app on his phone and showed me the beginning and then when she started flirting. He might have tuned the messages, but at least the beginning's really ready friendly. The flirtatious parts, however, were blatantly obvious in my eyes, but he actually blames himself for that and says that while that doesn't change his feelings for her, it means he should have noticed this earlier, and well he said, make the decision to pursue her earlier. That sort of broke me and I started sobbing, because it sounds as if I never had a chance compared to Jasmine, he even wanted to console me, and I allowed that for a couple minutes, but then I sought some distance again. It both felt good and bad to be in his arms. Then it was time to ask me why she is so attractive to him, that he leaves me, his wife, for just the mere possibility of being with another woman. I mentioned that someone I didn't say read it, suggested she might be a scam, or just interested in breaking up marriages and going after men who are taken and such. He of course vehemently denied that. Supposedly, they met last Sunday to go out for dinner, and they talked about the fact that she approached him even though he is married, and she claims to have a really bad conscience about this, and that she never would have done it had she not felt such a deep connection between them blah blah blah. I must admit I really struggled through that part. Because if it is true, it hurts me, and if it isn't, it hurts even more that he falls for BS. He then told me in excruciating detail about his dating life and how long he was a virgin, and how he was always treated by girls back in middle school and high school, and by the women in college and later on how he really feels that he always has to be the one initiating fighting even for a chance and felt like he was always treated as unworthy by almost all women and how that made him bitter, he admitted that but also how he always thought that someone who truly fits him fits his personality his character his being would be someone who would not make him jump through hoops, someone who'd outright tell him she's intrigued by him and wants him. He says he loves me dearly, and was always very grateful for being with me, 
but that even with me he always felt somewhere between a beggar and the subject of a pity party, where I bestowed the grace of my companionship onto him, instead of actually liking and wanting him. When I asked him whether that means he settled for me, he vehemently denied that. He said when we started to date, I really treated him better than any woman had done before, so he really thought this was what he had been looking for and before meeting Jasmine he never felt like he needed more. I of course tried to tell him that he I am not with him out of pity or anything, and explained why I made him wait three months, and why I think the man should court the woman and so forth, and then I also admitted that I might not have given him the appreciation he deserved. This time it actually was his turn to drop tears for a bit. He said, hearing that made him both grateful and unhappy, that he never really communicated better about this. I told him that hearing him say that feels like he is putting the blame on me. And I swear to God, his eyes like doubled their size, and he looked genuinely shocked, and he apologized many times and said he did not want me to think he actually has any bad feelings about having to wait back then, and that this is a situation where no one is to blame, but especially not me. He said I have been a wonderful wife and all, but that with Jasmine it just feels different and like a deeper connection that the two of us have, and that while he thought that I was wonderful, he now realizes that what he really was looking for in life was something else. So, he says reconciliation is not really an option, because he realized that we're not right for each other, and even if it doesn't work out with Jasmine, he knows now that he actually needs something that I just not am. I mentioned marriage counseling, and he said that it's not like our marriage has issues, but that the issue is that we're just not right for each other. There were more things we said, and maybe I'll add some later, but right now I am too mentally exhausted. Especially because I still don't feel like I can hate him, because he felt so freaking honest, I think he at least truly believes all the things he said, but that woman still might be a total liar or a scam. He at least promised to be careful with her financial wise, but he assured me she's not that. I don't know what to make with any of this. It hurts. I guess my marriage is over. Comments. Actual offer 127. At this point it's time to gray rock him. No contact except through lawyers. This is closure for him to make himself feel better for treating you like trash. None of this will help you mentally. Obviously because you're still defending him and blaming yourself. This all falls directly on him and her. Do not keep putting yourself through this mental anguish. Neither are worth it. Get into therapy. File for divorce and have him served. Mute his notifications and go and see with him. Staying in contact is only prolonging your healing while he's already moved on with the home wrecking whore. Knife, why wife, why? The part where he said, no one is to blame here. B.S. He and his new girlfriend are 100% to blame. Cheating is a choice, and they made it together. Nixles 11. Op, let him go. I guarantee you he will eventually do the same thing to this Jasmine woman. In all honesty, he's weak and she's an awful human being. Let them both learn their lessons without you watching. And don't take him back. Don't ever let him touch you again, and only communicate through your attorneys. Get everything you deserve from your shared assets. It shouldn't matter how long he was a virgin, just because some strange bats her eyelashes at him. You deserve better and I hope you have a wonderful life. O.P. replies, I guess I don't have a choice anyway, do I? Hear four mysteries. How in the hell can he say that no one is to blame? He's leaving you for another woman, he is absolutely to blame. O.P. replies, Well, he says, he just realized we're not meant to be together since we don't fit. And I mean, I've had had relationships where I realized we actually didn't click, and well, then you split up. That's what he thinks is the case here. Just doesn't feel like it to me, but then again, I don't have a new guy already. Maria V95. You didn't fit to him only after he met another woman, he's awful let him go. Here are four mysteries. I'm sorry this is so incredibly hurtful. If he realized that is part of your relationship, yes it's hurtful, but okay. But he didn't realize that is part of your relationship, he's using that as an excuse to leave you for another woman, and make you feel like it's somehow at least partially your fault. For him to say no one is to blame is outrageous. He fostered a relationship with another woman and is leaving you for her, he is to blame. Read something, you have a choice to preserve your dignity. I've walked in your shoes. 
It's devastating, but you will get through it. Gather the shreds of your pride. Block him. Let your attorney handle everything. Hold your head up and fake it until you make it. One of the hardest parts of breaking up is getting your head into the what's best for me space, when for years you've been operating in what's best for us mindset. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? However, in your update so much of your meeting was you looking after his feelings, even warning him to protect his finances. Darling girl, your husband has betrayed you. He's broken his vows. Whether he's had sex with her yet is irrelevant. You start looking out for you. Clearly, despite his lip service, he no longer is. Sending you my very best wishes.